My body's always been something which I've never really been proud of. I was always one of the smallest people, was late to develop, and whilst I was always very sporty, I was always quite small. And that's due to my relationship with food. I've never really consumed that much. I've always said this, I eat because I have to, not because I like to. So this is me on day one. You can see like my back is a little bit uneven, my chest is underdeveloped, and I'm just generally quite soft. But these are all things which I could easily get back because I've been there before. About a year and a half ago, I was training consistently and really hard. And as all the gyms closed down, I stopped eating and I stopped working out. So I lost all my size. So this has basically been a rebuilding process. So welcome to my 30 day body transformation. Day number one of 30, first ever meal from Lions Prep. So what I've got here is waffles with summer fruits and cream. So essentially there's two things that you need to know when you're trying to change your body. It's caloric surplus and deficit. For me, as I'm trying to put weight on, I need to be in a surplus every single day. It means I need to be eating more than what I'm burning. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing is eating above 3000 calories a day. And if you know me, I don't eat. Uh, that is not gonna be easy. For some people, they might be like, oh, that's easy, I eat my sleep. Some people find eating easy, some people don't. I eat out of necessity, not out of pleasure. So first meal, let's just get it under our way. Yeah. Oh, I've, okay, uh, we've had a, can't lose the calories. So the issue is that I've got here is that sometimes when I work, I forget to eat. So the best thing about prep is that it's there for you and you know that you're just gonna have to get through it, otherwise you're not going to be eating what you need to eat. But I've got a side menu shoot today. I've got a three day shoot of podcasts the following day. So trying to get food in is going to be hard, but I'm going to have to do it. But anyway, less waffle and more waffle. Just on the side menu shoot right now, I've gotta get my food in. It's not gonna take long, just munch it, get it down. I'm gonna head over to somewhere else and then that's it. All right, so second meal, this is a snack. Yeah, Toby. What is that? It's Mexican chicken and guacamole salad. Uh, I'll need to try a bit of this. All right. Oh. What's? <laughs> Approval. How is it that you find with your weight? Because you're a skinny boy like me, that's why I wanted to get you I in. I don't put on weight. Yeah. I, have to, I have to really, really, really make a conscious effort if I'm trying to put on weight. We actually have to put a hell of a load of work into eating to put weight on. People think it's a blessing. It's really, really a curse. It's not, it costs a lot more if you want to put weight on as well, which is a nightmare, but... Oh, you're a money day. man, this is you. Yeah, so. money, I'm money, 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 money. But um, off to the gym now, and then I'm gonna have my first workout of the 30 days, and more food, and more food, and you more food. You do that, yeah. I'm gonna go play Overwatch. Goodbye, mate. <laughs> I've done my back in really badly. Did that last week. It's not good timing for doing this transformation, but hey ho, we move. Push day today. Let's get it. The hardest thing about this whole thing is that it's a rebuild process from where I used to be. So I'm hitting the numbers way below what I used to. That being said, I'm excited to see like where this month can go. This is the first session of this 30 days. I'm just gonna get on with it, just crack on. I'm struggling, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a long day and having a workout at night is not easy. That being said, just got to get on with it. 30 days, 30 days, 30 days. It is 11.40 at night, and you know what? Not off to a good start, because I've realized, I thought I had one meal, I've got two meals, and a snack to get through, and I'm a skinny boy, so I'm gonna have to munch both of these before I fall asleep. We've got Malaysian monkfish, brown rice and peas. Woo! I love that from you. Uh, and for my second dinner, I have got Sweet chili salmon, sweet potato fries, and roasted roots. Roasted roots. Hello, day two, and it is 7.54 in the morning. Uh, I am quite tired. Uh, I was packing for my job, which I have for the next three days last night. I mentioned previously that I put my back out. Now I'm heading home to get myself a massage to try and sort it out because it's ah, giving me a lot of pain. Seven o'clock this morning, and it's coming up to 12 now, and I still haven't eaten. And I've still got 3,300 calories to go. I finish filming every day at nine. I'm trying to fit a gym session in the next three days is going to be near and physically impossible. So what I can do is eat munchies. I'm good at building on the floor, though. See, I've mastered building and like shooting. So the way that today's gone, I've been busy all day. So I'm going to take today as my rest day. But I'm not going to lie to you, this looks absolutely. Oh. One of the best things about prep is that it literally just comes 
straight to you, but it's just here. You it straight to my doorstep. That's nice. Very simple, very efficient, very easy. And then, I'll just go back upstairs. And just like that, four days of food is all tidily away inside of both of my fridges. It's going to be a current theme throughout this whole video that I really do struggle to eat. Now this is where Lion's Prep comes in. Healthy, delicious, calculated food delivered straight to your doorstep to help you achieve your goals, whether that will be to lose, maintain or gain weight. Due to its sheer convenience, food prep can help you alleviate a lot of pressures that if you are trying to hit your goals, you can focus directly on them because your food is always ready. I'll have a link in the description. Just use the code ROXPRO to get yourself a limited time offer. So the second job of the week is going to be a podcast that Elle is conducting herself. She's getting multiple guests. We've got Ethan and Nathan Dorr today. This, by the way, is a Snickers protein bar. And when I say to you, yeah, it is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. Still waiting, so, you know, um... My culinary skills are out of here, okay? Sign me up. 65.2. Hurry up from yesterday. Make me big, pancakes. Make me big. First leg session of this whole rotation, this 30 day thing. It's my first gym session in a few days, so I should be feeling a little bit more funky fresh. My back still doesn't feel great. That being said, no excuses, just gonna try and work. Not too heavy, because I do not want to cause more injury. But get a nice little session in, keep it simple, but get the muscles worked. And now, I'm gonna go, I need to fart. Kilos. Um, I haven't been that heavy in quite a while, um, and I'm not gonna lie, it's motivated me. It's only four days in. I'm feeling like, oh, oh, it's still small, but like it's the, it's the small changes makes me so happy. All right, so I'm at the chiropractor now. I've been seeing Ben for about a year or so. Coming up to two years, I'd say, nearly. Yeah. Do you want to give a quick rundown of what a chiropractor does, essentially? Yeah, so chiropractors deal with mainly spinal issues. So Charlie's got slightly tight hips. So we work on that as well as the spine. But yeah, mainly it's manipulation, which is the clicking and the crack of the joints, which everyone knows this for. So Ben's about to manipulate me. Yeah. Let's relax, good. Oh, that's nice. To be honest with you, I'm surprised you're not tighter than you are with your hamstrings. Yeah. You're naturally quite flexible. Yeah, you're kind of interesting because, as I say, you don't properly lock your knees out. So you kind of compensate for your pelvis by doing that, really, as in you tend to... Well, if you don't lock your knees, then basically you take some of your upper body weight through your hamstrings, basically, which is why people tend to have tighter hamstrings. You do what you do. I'm going to head off, eat, gym, repeat every single day. These look good, they smell good. It's a good win. All right, on to the penultimate meal of the day. I've got firecracker chicken thighs, brown rice and peas. Um, I've had this before, it's lovely jubbly, just gotta get it down me. I'm feeling quite hungry, I'm feeling quite um, done. I've had a gym session already. Um, it's just, it's a long arduous process, isn't it? It's just eat, 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 eat. As a singular update, I um, couldn't get through that last meal. I am stuffed. It was start I was starting to feel a little bit sick, like I didn't need to eat. Um, but I am going to the pub uh, for a pint or two. When you don't like to eat just for pure pleasure and you do it because you need to, when you do eat and you're not completely starving, you feel really like, uh, it's like my food's here. Like I, it's, it should just come up, and it's very confusing. I just got back from the pub. I'm, yeah, I'm a bit pissed. I'm human. Allow me. Like I'm just gonna, have, I'm gonna have one day. One day. Day six. See where I'm at. I've lost 0.2 kilos. Missed two meals, and suddenly you lose weight. Uh, yeah. People are trying to steal my money on my bank as well. Back. Dark. Go. I'm even shit. That demotivated me a little bit, and I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna weigh myself until day 30, and I wanna see, I wanna like observe changes in my body rather than think that a number's gonna define my progress, because it isn't. really well and truly down the window yesterday. Got the training session in, but the food uh, was replaced with the pizza and plenty of drinks. 
uh, Kyle is uh, currently um, also Kyle. Right. This is food that I am now in a deficit of that I haven't eaten since the beginning of last week due to an occasional accidental missed meal um, and two days of not following the meal prep because of me being busy, um, which is just an excuse. Uh, it's not good enough. Uh, the people in the flat are going to be helping me eat it. This is motivating me because this isn't good enough and I'm, I'm kind of pissed off with myself. Uh, that I've actually allowed it to get to this point. Where are we going, Lewis? Football! Football crazy! Football man! Oh, oh, okay. Let's play football! Okay, you know what? Fuck it, we'll play football. Alright, so football's done. I'm going to finish a meal which I couldn't finish earlier and I'm going to have another snack as well which would leave me with one more meal left for the day and that'll be calories all done for the day which leaves me on track for the next six days which is nice. As soon as I finish this I'm going to have a salt bath. That really helps with my muscle recovery and I'm looking forward to that. So I'm going to chow this down, have a salt bath, leave it an hour and eat it again. Bath salt time. Recovery. I always have a thing where I overcook my baths. And the sitting down process takes me a while, like a hot minute. That's one small step for man. Oh, I've just burnt my balls. Really nice food, like really nice food and I'm grateful. And it's doing me well. I feel like I'm feeling healthy and better. But I've said this before, some balance, lads. Like just some balance. I just want a filthy curry or a Chinese or something just dirty in my mouth that I could just be like, mm. Make me feel human again. But I'm uh, I'm not fit, so I'm gonna try and do a few. I'm gonna try and go there and back, basically. Press stroke. I haven't got my goggles, and my eyes don't react very well to chlorine. So the mad thing about this, yeah, is that I'm feeling my lower back quite badly because of the deadlifts the other day. So I'll do 60 and no more heavier than 60, I don't think, because I really don't want to put my back out at all. I want to work my legs, but not give myself more of an injury. Okay, and this is to break my all-time PV, 75 kilos. I'm currently weighing 67 kilos right now. 75 kilos to break my all-time PV. So the final weigh-in, um, I didn't really get to eat much yesterday, so I'm a bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'd say the whole month was really successful, I'm feeling quite good. But as a matter of fact, I'm going to weigh myself and see how far I've come this month. Yeah, how far I've come this month. Alright. 66.9. I've lost a kilo in, in, in the last couple of days. <laughs> I'm, not gonna lie. Um, I'm not gonna lie. 66.9, that's like three kilos added. Um, and I'm feeling quite bleh, today. Like I haven't eaten properly the last couple of days. But I'm feeling good. Like I, I feel like good about myself. I think it's very natural to fluctuate in weight anyway. But one thing that I would like to say is that if you focus too much just on the numbers rather than how you're feeling, I know I look different. I feel different. Three kilos a month, eh, not too shabby. So let me know in the comments below if you see a change. Let me know what you think. Personally, I think my back has grown a lot. Bit of a strange one. My chest is a little bit more full, but my shoulders definitely have grown. And my shoulders have always been one of my weakest things. But what I'm most impressed with over this month is my performance. I'll put up on the screen now where I started at the month and where I ended up with all my PBs. But as a whole, it's been an extremely successful month. I want you to let me know in the comments below if there's any different types of fitness content you'd like to see from me and I will do that for you. This has been a great challenge, but for me, that's enough. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourself in a bit. Big.
Baby.